survival tips that could save your life. Ever wear Calvin Klein obsession in the jungle. Big cats are attracted to musky smells, but there's one cat that really likes it. Instead of attracting a cougar, you might just get a tiger. If a shark is approaching you in water, do not splash. Splashing tells a shark that you're food that hasn't been caught yet. Slowly move towards the shore or a boat, whatever's closest. Don't thrash because if a shark really wants to put you in a bag, it will. Black bears can be intimidated, so throw rocks and make a lot of noise and they might run off. Yeah, grizzlies don't play that, so you'll have to play dead with your hands behind your neck and your legs spread out to make it harder to turn you over. If a polar bear comes at you, first of all, what are you doing? Take off pieces of clothing and throw them. The bear will stop to inspect them, giving you a few precious seconds to escape. If a snake bites you, look at the wound. Double set of teeth means it's non-venomous. Two puncture holes means that the snake is indeed venomous, so either seek medical attention or sneeze in the air and pray that God blesses you. If a croc grabs you, jab its eyes and nostrils, and if you can, shove your arm down its throat. It can activate its gag reflex and force it to release you. Or survival tips that could save your life. If you see a lot of birds flocking like this in the ocean, respectfully go the other way. There's a good chance you accidentally wandered in on a shark's kill. Some sharks, like the lemon shark, will go into a feeding frenzy where they'll bite anything that moves, which could include your dumbass. If you're stranded in the Arctic and manage to kill a polar bear, first of all, whoa, do not eat their liver. Your liver contains enough vitamin A to put 52 men in coffins. And if you're pregnant and somehow survive, your baby will have several birth defects. Deadly on the outside, poison on the inside, just don't mess with them. If you plan on swimming in the Australian ocean, wear pantyhose. If a box, jellyfish, or worse, this plastic bag looking bastard presses you, the garment will be thick enough to keep the stinging cells from reaching your skin. Because if it does, the venom can cause cardiac arrest in two minutes. That's two ramen orders long to put your heart in permanent unemployment. If an anteater does this, back away expeditiously. It's not a hug, it's an invitation to see Jesus. Because that's what they do right before they slash you with those claws. Sharp enough to puncture arteries. Back away or else you'll be known as that idiot that died hugging an anteater. Even more tips that can save your life. Never smile at a gorilla. Showing teeth is considered a challenge to a silverback. And if challenging a 350 roided out Donkey Kong doesn't cancel your life, the medical bill that comes next will make you wish it did. Never pee on a jellyfish sting. I don't know which R. Kelly disciple spread that lie, but golden showers only make it worse. Urine activates the stingers into releasing more venom. What you want to do is rinse with vinegar because that turns off the stinging cells. Never listen to heavy metal in the ocean. Not only will you attract headbangers and wall punchers, you will also attract sharks. The low frequency vibrations remind a shark of struggling fish and they'll come expecting food. Like the IRS, when they come expecting something, you're going to lose a lot. Never touch this bird. Pitoey's feathers contain batrachotoxin. Same reason this tiny frog is a weapon of mass destruction. This toxin can cause paralysis and cardiac arrest. As for why this person is holding it, your guess is as good as mine. Before you say something like white people be like, remember that stupidity comes in all colors and does not discriminate. And that is equality. Even more survival tips that can save your life. Ever walked barefoot on an Australian reef? The most venomous fish in the world looks exactly like a rock, and stepping on it releases enough venom to kill a man in one minute. If you're ever face to face with a lion, you want to look him straight in the eyes and slowly back away. But you want to do the exact opposite if you're in front of a leopard. Leopards see eye contact as a challenge, so you want to stay very still and look away. Coral snakes. If red touches black, they're harmless. If red touches yellow, they're highly venomous and one bite could kill you, and it could take half a day for symptoms to show up. If an elephant ever stares you down, look at its ears. If his ears are pinned back and his trunk is curled up, you need to back away slowly because he's about to charge. When camping, don't pee right next to your camping site. Because human urine can attract bears the same way miners attract- Censored. Even more tips that could save your life. If a whale accidentally swallows you, curl into as tight a ball as possible. Because if it's a tooth whale, the sharp cone-shaped teeth could tear you to shreds on the way out. Curling into a ball reduces your surface area and increases the likelihood of you surviving. If you ever smell popcorn in an Asian jungle, do not go any further in the direction you are heading. Tigers mark their territory with urine, and for some reason tiger pee smells like the buttered movie treat. If an alligator grabs you, a lot of people think you have to go for the eyes. What you really want to do is jam your fingers up its nostrils. This breaks the seal that keeps water out of the airways, and it'll cause the gator to instantly release you. If you're ever lost in the wild and you see birds of prey circling above you, walk in the opposite direction. Birds like vultures will circle over a fresh kill, and a fresh kill means a predator might be around that won't have any problem adding you to his stats. 